I want to just dig into more of Musio. This was founded by uh, the founder of CineSamples. CineSamples is known for creating some fantastic orchestral contact libraries. But this, I guess you might compare it to the uh, Composer Cloud, where you have all of the instruments that uh, Musio or CineSamples, they've kind of taken their CineSamples collection and moved it into the Musio player where you have access to all of the uh, content and, you know, it just loads in its own player. And so um, it's amazing. And I've just started digging into it. And so um, in the coming live streams and whatnot, I, I'm going to learn more about this and share more about it. Uh, but, but what I'll do, I'm just going to pull up what it looks like. Let's see. This is the player here. Yeah, so it comes like in a in a rack. You can load all of your instruments in a rack. And I've got I've been playing the Studio Grand. That's what I was playing at the opening. It's very a simple design. I say that it's kind of like in infancy. They are just starting to do more and more with this engine. You know, you don't have a lot of controls right now, but they're continuing to uh, develop it. So, so basically, this is all you've got. Uh, you've got just the the reverb, and I've got it turned off. But we can just add a little bit of the wet signal to it. Let's see. Let's just hear it wet. I've got it bypassed. Hello. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. So basically, it's very basic effects. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the Cine Piano. Now, I did a review on the contact version of Cine Piano, but this is what it looks like in Musio. It, it's not a lot... Uh, going on here with the interface is just you load an instrument in the rack up there and then you just you play it and you can assign MIDI channels and audio outputs. Uh, that's pretty much um, pretty much it. And then you can submit feedback and I, I've been doing some of that. but this is um, this is just the Cine piano here. And I'm going to turn off the reverb bypass the reverb so we can just hear what it sounds like. Very nice. And the cool thing about the Cine piano that it was recorded at the on the 20th Century Fox stage, uh, where they did uh, this uh, this John Williams uh, score. And when I first played the Cine piano on the in Contact, this is like the first thing that came. Uh, let's see. Yeah, listen to that. And let me see if any of you can guess this. Yeah, that's Thank you. 
from Sabrina. Uh, Sabrina with, um, oh, Julia Ormond and um, Harrison Ford. Yeah. It's a remake of uh, Humphrey Bogart and Audrey Hepburn. really cool. So let's just uh, do a little bit of exploring. So you've got the instrument um, instrument view, and then you have explore. I was watching the uh, Women of the North video yesterday. So so let me just, let's just show you what this does. So you click on, you go to explore, and let's say that just kind of caught my eye there, the Women of the North. So we're going to click on that, and you see all of these different uh, instruments and articulations. And so what we can do, uh, this is uh, 1.7 gig. Let's just uh, download the Legato. See, it's just like you download what you need. Um, it's, it's like the Liberty Liberty. Uh, you only download what you need. So uh, let's just do the Ah Legato. I'm just going to click on the download. And one of the cool things is if you take your Musio to other, other studios or whatever and you load it up, it's going to kind of help... Uh, load and transfer things to your project. So it's, um, okay, so there we go. So we have the legato there. So I'm gonna click load and boom, there it is. So I'm going to just uh, mute these other pianos and go back to the instrument view and... Okay, so Deja, yeah, let's see what we can do here. So let's see. Yeah, so you can preview these. It's got a simpl simplistic, uh, like a little MIDI file uh, that kind of plays. But let's go back to the instrument slot. And um, so we've got dynamics release, a release curve, and some reverb. That's the just the legato. Let's uh, let's do this. Let's go back and do uh, the sustains. I'm gonna just download the sustains. Okay. See, look, there it is. So we've got it loaded. So we've got um, the sustains. Let's go to let's go check that out. Here we go. Let's go ahead and just unmute the legato. And what you know what I love to do. Um, I love to layer stuff. So there's Cinestrings Pro. Uh, well, let's see. There's Iceland. Let's see what we've got here. If there are any uh, kind of, um, well, we've got nickel harps. And see, that's the thing. We got to explore those. But look at all that. That's very uh, cool Icelandic instruments. But let's just go to Cinestrings Pro and go, um, let's just load the ensemble. Yeah, so Musio 1, Musio 1 includes all of the instruments that were released in 2023. So you could purchase that um, Musio 1 as a collection and, you know, and then it's just like that's all you have. But you get future updates. If they update any of those instruments in uh, Musio 1 or any of the instruments that were released in 2023, then you get those updates for free. Uh, so... You can purchase a life, I think you can still get a lifetime um, uh, subscription, which means that 
whatever they release, whenever they release it, update it, you get all of that free. Um, I think that's really cool. And you can also trial the subscription. So yeah, and it does give you a perpetual license for, um, for all of that content uh, without subscriptions, absolutely. I'm, I'm just like, I, I don't know quite what I feel about subscriptions. Um, and it's just, it's the thing that they're doing with, even with the uh, DVDs and Blu-rays, I think I saw Best Buy is taking all of the physical content out. So, but there, there's nothing like holding um, a physical DVD or CD in your hand. Um, it's uh, amazing. So, okay, so I loaded the... Um, Loaded the ensemble strings with the all sustains and the allegato. So let's take a listen to what that all sounds like together. Uh, and if we go to the ensemble, we've got uh, the appassionata sustained in key switches here. Um, and then we've got, let's just do the consordino. Now this is just, uh, this is ensemble sinistrings pro. Nordic Voices, uh, Women of the North, Austin awesome States, and Avogadro. Cool. You know, Kyle, I was thinking about that and you, you cannot, I don't, I don't think you can. Um, and I think that's one of the things that we need to put in there. They need to put in there. Um, <laughs> because that would be fantastic to split and layer. And even, um, <laughs> you know, what I see would be so useful is splits, layers, uh, velocity key switching, um, almost just kind of like let's let's just l let's just kind of let this do it, uh, because I could load this in Unify and do that and use multiple instances of Musio. But man, you've got it right there. So why not uh, put the uh, put that functionality? And I think that's what's going to come. Um, that's what's going to come. Hopefully, you know what I can do, you know, and I can go here and I can say, listen, I want to submit some feedback. And so when we get off of here, you know, that's what we'll do. And, and that's what I love. I love that they listen to um, listen to what you're doing and watch this. You know, we can just pop these, you know, pop these slots in and out. And um, let's see. And, and I wish there was a way that I could know what I've already downloaded. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. Let's see the Celeste. Uh, so just I downloaded mostly like the pianos and things. That's the Celeste. Let me go back and see what kind of controls we have there. 
yeah, just pretty basic stuff. Okay, yeah, Nigel, let's just see what we could do. <laughs> so uh, let's go to the catalog. And um, okay, let's go. Uh, okay, now, now, Nigel, there's two cellos here. There's the acoustic cello and solo cello. I tell you what I'm going to do. Let's just, um, okay, that's two gigabytes. But uh, let's go ahead and just kind of load it in the background and see what we got here. Uh, let's just do, oh, wow, the solo cello here is 5.6. So let's just see if we can do, yeah, the legato. Um, yeah, this is classic. Um, so let's just see. Let's just load the sustain, see if we can load the sustain. I, I love, the thing I do like about this is uh, things are pretty uh, immediate and, and, you know, as far as accessible. Uh, you see a library, you download it, um, and depending on your 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 network speed, it it'll pull it down, um, and then you can kind of go over here to downloads, and you see what you what you have going, um, and it seems like it's going pretty quick. Now the legato is at like sixty five percent. We'll we'll just kind of load um, something else that we have, and let me just load up another piano. Let's load up a road. See if we've got um, yeah. So I've got. The roads here, road 73. We can load that. Yeah, that would, yeah, that's another thing. I, I think that's, that would be an, an absolutely obvious thing to do uh, because instead of going through and downloading all of those, um, yeah, let's uh, mute the, um, yeah, let's just play the roads. distortion and reverb to be honest I'm not a huge fan of the of the built-in reverb um, let's see oh I got it bypassed so let's put let's put that back on and get some decay Hear that? You hear that nice growl? And they've got some Wurlitzers in there too. Um, let's see where we are with the. Okay, yeah. So look at this. Um, yeah, it's already downloaded. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so acoustic cello. And another um, another suggestion that I have is just to replace a slot. So let's say I want to I want the roads to be replaced with um, with the cello. So I would just love to be able to do that. So let's just uh, yeah, you click it, boom, there it is. I'm going to remove the um, okay, wow, okay. So this is the legato on the Tina Juo cello, and let's see, yeah, I've got CC11 on the first slider and dynamics. Yeah, that, yeah. Let's just put, put a little bit more reverb.
you know, that's it. That's the that's the articulation that you get, you know. But you hear, you hear that sound. Go back to downloads. Let's download. Okay, let's just load. Let's just load the uh, sustains on. this cello. Okay, let's see. Let's go back to Center Strings Pro and load that ensemble back again. Thanks, guys, for joining. If it's your first time, uh, go ahead and subscribe. I have seen, uh, I saw that we had a subscriber. Uh, Gerardo, uh, good to see you and thank you for subscribing. Uh, so I just loaded the, uh, the Center Strings Pro ensemble and I love the softer. Let's see, let's just go to that softer concertino. And then I'm gonna just bring it down. So the sustains, I'm going to mute the um, the solo, and then we can hear how the sustain, the sustain cello, Tina's cello, it adds a little more grit. That's a lot of fun. And it's a, and I guess what they call a never expanding, um, an, an, a, an ever expanding uh, library. Because you just look at the catalog and you've got brass, you've got the deep horns, the low brass. And I think, I think they're actually giving away the harp. Um, they're giving away the harp. Let's see, the horns. Let's load the horns. Why not? <laughs> this is Sonor, uh, Sonor, and I think it, that I watched one of the videos about the um, the Rocket Man, uh, the Rocketeer, the Rocketeer, and uh, and the score for that. Um, they they are. I think that's what they're what they're going for, Harvard, and they're doing it in the in a slightly different way, I guess, you know, building something from scratch. And I, you know, I do need to look at some more into 
uh, East West as well. I've had a subscription, uh, but it, with everything that, that goes on, it's just hard to keep up with a lot of times, but we're going to try and do our best. So look, there we go. So by the time I'm talking to you, we've already got the horns. So I'm going to load the horns in another slot. Let's uh, solo those. That's the legato. fire up the whole ensemble. the Celeste a little bit more. see the key switches because I'm going up that yeah but that's <laughs> yeah it gets big it gets oh I love the horns um expression but you can just dig into there yeah wow there is more to explore uh, with Musio. Now, let's see. Yeah, David, this, uh, it does cover, um, it does cover a lot more different um, types of instruments. Let's see if we can do, okay, yeah. Um, it, we have like, um, in the catalog, we've got percussion, cine piano, cine symphony, winds, uh, got impact designer, and drums, Drums of War, Dulcimers, um, and then the keyboard in blue is like, I'm gonna just take out some of these, um, let's just take out some of those slots. Yeah, keyboard in blue, I have got that loaded here. Let's see, let it do its thing here. Yeah, 
that's kind of cool. Drums of War. Let's see, we got pipe organ, and then um, we have some soundscapes. Yeah, so some sound designs. Yeah, <laughs> a little sound design there. Um, Got some sound design, guitars. Let's just pull up. Um, let's pull up the nylon string guitar. Let's get that loaded up. Drums. Uh, got some lindrums, uh, vintage drum machines. Some arp, like a little arp quadra. Yeah, there are some. Uh, there are a few OBXA patches here. Um, so basically, just kind of like presets, um, preset things here. Uh, synergy, just some soundscapes, and I'm looking to um, see that expand a little bit more. So let's see, what do we have here? Downloads. Okay, yeah, the nylon string. Let's load that up and listen to what that sounds like. Got an ensemble in Voxos. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. Um, there's all kinds of stuff. But uh, you mentioned something about the drums of war. Let's just look at that. And that's what I love about this is because you can explore. Um, you can explore these. Um, so we just download the war ensemble and load that in a slot. I'm going to take that one away. Okay, so we just, just. Very dynamic, nice and dynamic. Velocity. Cool, so we can. Uh, torture drums. Um, let's see. And happy birthday to um, J.R. Tolkien. I think he's had a birthday. Uh, we're remembering him. Um, okay, this is interesting because um, they're on the same keys. Um, the War Ensemble, and this is uh, Sparta, Spartacus, maybe. Uh. That's kind of cool. So just a lot of different tone colors there. And we've got three, three different volumes of Drums of War, uh, Pipe Organ. Okay, yeah, let's just load one of the uh, Pipe organ sounds brilliant and rich. Let's see what the instrument kind of looks like. Yeah, just pretty, pretty basic. And we can 
and C, more articulations get uh, reserved in serious. in another slot. That's cool. <laughs> that is cool.